uh, one thing I, I do remember, I mean, the thing about humor is it cuts through. It's, it's, it's involuntary. You can't control it. Your response to it is something that cannot be controlled. Um, and one of the memories that really, uh, or the images really, that uh, defined in the West that first day of the invasion was not just how awful it was that there was a full-scale attack in Ukraine, but uh, your Ukrainian troops saying to the Russian Navy, go fuck yourselves. And that was, that, that did an awful lot to, um, I think, endear and connect the West to what was happening in Ukraine. Um, and it's not something anyone could have prepared. Um, and, and that's the thing about humour. It's, we need it as an outlet. We need it as something to take the stress off. But also, if you can joke about something, it means you're, you've are you not yet been fully terrorised by it. The fact that you can still, there's still something in your brain that is making you find something funny about it, almost as a survival instinct, is, is that thing that keeps your, that flame of humanity alive within you really that you haven't been you haven't been beaten the fact that you can make other people laugh means that those trying to stop you haven't succeeded and i think the um what uh which i'm sure you experience in the ukraine the attempt um of uh someone who's attempting genocide or attempting um to to defeat you what they often try to do is to dehumanize you mm -hmm. And there is nothing more human than humor. And as I'm sure you're aware, and I, I see, I think I'm obsessed with the Holocaust. My, my mother was a survivor and her mother, in fact, came from Lviv or Lemberg, as it was then. Uh, and that's, that's perhaps the context for my obsession with uh, how humor works in a situation of war and genocide. But it, uh, it does two things. It does, which you've touched on already, Nastya. It, it, it sort of uh, makes the oppressor smaller, more, more vulnerable again, uh, but it also bonds you as humans together. And I think that's what we've seen um, from Ukraine and what we admire from Ukraine. And Armando's example there of go fuck yourself. Nothing is more human than swearing at some monstrous force. Um, and I think that's why humor can be, um, I, I mean, again, I think you said in your notes, Alexander, you said in your notes, it's better to have F-16s but humor is also a weapon. Memes are a weapon. 